Okay, listen, before you say anything, okay? I know we've been in this guest room many a time together. And I know that normally when I'm in here um, in my vlogs, it's because I'm cleaning it and organizing it um, because it's continuously a mess. We're back again, guys, and this time it's worse than ever, and we have a guest coming at the end of the week. So there is a lot going on here. Um, and I just actually tidied this room up after I filmed um, the spring haul the other day, but just as quickly as I clean it, it gets this unorganized all over again. So we are going to get this in order today. I um, worked out this morning per usual and then got back and I got a package from my Mimi and she sent me like a vintage belt that she used to wear in the 80s. So um, I was styling that. It's so freaking gorgeous, fits like a glove. I love it. And she sent me some jewelry and different things. So I was just trying that on and she also sent me, this was one of her favorite skirts. She said that she used to wear in the 80s all the time and she would wear it with like, um, kind of like a loose sweater with like the sleeves rolled up and like some cute white tennis shoes. Um, so I was just kind of playing around with it and styling it different ways and trying to like recreate the way she used to style it. And then I put this one together as more of like modern mixed with vintage, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go change. I'm gonna make a green tea, like caffeine drink, cause I need it. And then we're gonna get started on this room. I have a lot of clothes to organize. I need to like vacuum bag all of our ski stuff and put that away. And I think I'm gonna end up going to like Target or Walmart or something and getting a shoe kind of rack to hang over the back of the door. If I can put it on the inside, if like the closet will close with it in there, then I'll put it on the inside. If not, I'll just hang it over the front. All I do in here is like film, you know, TikToks, reels and hauls anyway. I'm always in here doing that. So it won't bother me so much if like the background is more clothes and shoes. That's kind of like the idea of the room. But our friend Katie is gonna be here on Sunday night and staying with us until we all go to Scottsdale. So she's actually gonna road trip um, with us to Scottsdale and then her husband will fly into Scottsdale and we'll all meet up. It's gonna be super fun. But yeah, I need to get going because I feel like this is gonna take me most of the afternoon, especially if like I really get into it and I need to go to the store and stuff and get some like organ organizing, I don't know, little containers or like the shoe rack or whatever. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. But I think once I have my caffeine um, and I get into different clothes, I still won't be looking forward to it, but I'll have to do it, so yeah. Let's get after it. Okay, I actually decided to head over to, I think Target is gonna have what I'm looking for. I'm gonna head there now to see if I can find the things to hang over the back of the doors because there's a ton of shoes on the floor and a ton of shoes on the rack. I need to make space for different shoes and a bunch of jewelry in there that I need to organize. So I'm gonna see if I can find a jewelry organizer or like a place where I can put my bags and my shoes. That's the goal. So I'm gonna throw in some shoes. I just have like a really chill outfit on today. When you have nothing to wear, best thing to do is just grab a button up and some denim jeans or shorts. Oh shoot, I just remembered that it's really cold today. Oh, it's not really cold, it's 61. But do I wanna wear shorts? I'll be a little chilly, but I'll be inside. That's okay. Anyway, I just have like this huge um, button up from H&M and then some uh, they're kind of like custom vintage Calvin Klein's that I found at Melrose Trading Post last year, year before, I'm not sure. Anywho, I need to get going, it's already noon and I wanna get this done today, but I need the organizing stuff to finish that. Let me make sure there's no other organizers that I might need. Because the top drawer of this dresser has become a little bit of a catch-all. And this right here is a little bit of a mess, but that might be for another day. But we could do something about this top drawer. I mean, eh, I do not have like um, junk drawers in my house. And this is one that, it's not junk. It's actually, you know, stuff that we need to hold on to, but I need to get it um, a little bit more organized. So anyway. All right, let's head to the store. I might change. I don't know, I think I'm gonna be cold. 
I'm gonna put on some leggings or something. Anywho, I'll see you guys over there. Of course, y'all know how it is when you go into Target. I got distracted by the sale that they're having on throw pillows, throw blankets. Okay, so I'm thinking about this for our bed. We make it really warm and bring in more like browns and tans, which I want. What do we think? I have now come across more pillow options. I might actually not do these. Okay, I've kind of set up like a mock version of my bed because we have big white pillows and then we have this exact color because it's the Casa Luna in front of it. And so like that's how the color scheme would look if these were in front of it. And I decided against the little long brown pillow because it, it looked wrong. But I'm thinking we could keep it really clean and simple and do like one long pillow. With, I think that's nice, or this one. Which I really like and I love the texture on it. Okay, I'm back from Target. There was a huge wreck on the highway so it took me it's like typically a five, maybe eight minute drive. It took like 15 minutes. Um, I also picked up at Target um, some e.l.f. makeup. I love e.l.f. I feel like it's really, really good. It's vegan, cruelty free, and hello, it's super cheap. I got this thing, it's supposed to be for concealer, um, but I think it would be great for doing eyeliner. Um, I got this. I use super dark brown or black shadow for my eyeshadow. So this is much easier to travel around with than my other thing that's like no less than eight years old. Um, and it also has this really great kind of sparkly color in there that's really pretty. A new eyelash curler. I've had mine for way too long. Some mascara and some like setting powder. Um, let's try out the throw blanket and um, new pillows on the bed and see which one we like better. I kind of got lucky because these two pillows were not a part of the 15% off sale. The throw blanket that I got was, but there was on my app, my Target app that like I never use and I really need to use it. There was a 20% off, so even better. Uh, but I always do this when I'm like testing out throw pillows. I buy all the ones that I like, try them out, and then I'll return what I don't use, but let's try this. So. Right now I have this one and I like it, but I don't know. Like, I feel like this is just better. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I'll probably end up like seeing if it fits anywhere else in the house or like holding on to it or something. I, it's not like a super expensive pillow. I think I just found it at like home goods or something. Um, so yeah. Is that a price on it? How much is this thing? Doesn't say. I'm assuming like 20, 25 bucks. Um, so let's try and see which one's better. So everything in here is obviously going to be like super neutral, like brown, cream, white, which I love. And I've said this so many times, but these two things up here, like the way I have everything set up up here is not how it's going to stay. I just brought, you know, what we had from New Mexico and we're supposed to get a headboard. I don't know when that's going to happen. And I want to eventually like put some good art above the bed. Um, so this is just like such an eyesore for me, but whatever. I like this throw because it has a different texture than like, than uh, this cotton one that I have on here. Okay, so I was thinking, and all my bedding now is from Target. Okay, I like this one. The thing, this obviously like matches really, really well. But the thing I liked about this one is that it doesn't have any tassels. So let's see how that looks with, like I would just do this throw like that, you know, kind of like messy, just to add some like texture. Okay, that's nice. I like how simple that is. I like how this video started out with us, you know, we needed to work on the guest room together, but we went off topic. Um, okay, I like that a lot. David's gonna be like, oh, you added one more step to making the bed. It's already enough. All right, so that's good. 
I think I'm gonna end up liking this one the best. Oh, that's nice. I think that one might have to be the winner because it just looks very clean and neutral and light, which I really like. So we might have to just keep this guy right here. Now that that's decided, I finally need to get started. Where are my shoes? On this guest room. So let me show you guys the shoe thing that I got. It is from, or it's by Bright Room and it uh, holds 24 shoes. And it's 75% recycled polyester, so that's nice. Let's open this bad boy up and see if it fits behind the door. This room, you guys, what a freaking disaster. I can't believe that I have made this mess. So I wanna put like all my heels and stuff in here, and if there's room for some shoes that I have in our closet, that would be great because David has no room for his shoes. We each have like no less than 35 pairs of shoes, maybe even more, honestly. It's getting a little out of control. Um, yeah, so let's open this up. Oh my goodness. I need more hours in the day. But I have to get this done today because today is the only time I have to do this. Because the other days, of the week. Tomorrow I have a hair appointment. I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. Um, that takes anywhere from like four to five hours. It takes a really, really long time. Whoa, that's like standard door size. That should fit. Okay, so these top ones are mesh and then it has these other ones. And for me, I could probably fit, you know, two of my sandals and some of my heels in here. David's shoe would take up one of each thing. Girl. All right, let's fill this bad boy up. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not that the way you said I know that I'm playing. Ooh, let's put the Gucci's. Oh, no, no, no. We want to keep these in the bag, right? We could put them in the bag in there. That might work. Oh, I'm so excited for the organization. shoes from my closet and I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's all filled up. I ended up moving it over from this door to this door because it closes all the way on this side. Um, but yeah, that's so nice and it actually just freed up a ton of space in our closet so I can like rearrange our stuff in there as well. Don't mind this. We got to figure something out, you guys. I, yeah, I don't know. Those are our Christmas pillows. Where do they go? Where else do I put them? No idea. Okay, update. I have gotten so much organized, but in order to get this room organized, I had to organize stuff in our closet to make room for all the stuff that I've just been kind of throwing in there. Um, also, look how good this is. Look how good this is looking. I'm not sure if I showed the whole thing yet, um, but I added the two pillows back there. They we're in the guest room, but I just feel like it looks so much better in here and just looks more like cozy and luxurious and like has more layers and textures. So I think I'm gonna keep them in here. Um, but anyway, I have been working on our closet and we usually have this like covered in shoes, but all the shoes are off the ground and they're like all put away. Um, it opened up a ton of space for our shoes in here. And then I went through like all of my jewelry and like organized everything because I had a bunch of jewelry um, and I still have more like in traveling things, but also like in the guest room and then like got this kind of organized. Um, yeah, so we can finally 
move on to the guest room, hang up clothes, put stuff away, and start getting more organized. But now that I've done all that, I'm like starving and I'm gonna make lunch. I haven't had lunch yet today. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll pick up on the guest room. guys the room is looking really really good the last thing i need is for david to just help me with um putting away these ski jackets because they need to go in a vacuum bag and he is like really good at getting like big bulky stuff like folded properly and put in there so um yeah and then i just have some clothes that i wash that still need some drying but i need to change the i didn't like clean today i just got it um organized so i put all the stuff away that was here obviously organized those shoes put a ton of clothes away and vacuumed and got the bed like pretty much cleared off and then before katie gets here um i'm going to you know wash all the bedding wipe everything down and make sure that it's like fresh and clean and you know clean the windows and the window seal and all that stuff so yeah david is taking over for dinner tonight he's making us some pasta which is very helpful because I've obviously been going and going. And I just started some laundry, but I love the way that the pillows look in here and the throw blanket just looks really like light and cozy and yeah, just loving it. So that is gonna be all for today, but I'll pick up my camera in the morning. I have my hair appointment at 12.30 and I'm really excited about that. I wanna go super uh, blonde or add a bunch of blonde but like have my roots like blend in with it really well. Um, and add a bunch of layers. I need to trim so bad my hair is super long right now. But yeah, I'll pick up my camera in the morning for that. Hello guys, today is Wednesday, March 30th. I am heading over to my hair appointment now. Um, of course, I went ahead and did like a full face of makeup. Ladies, you know, if you get your hair colored, um, you have never questioned your attractiveness level more so than when your hair is full of foils and you have no makeup on. I mean, it is horrific. And they place you right in front of a mirror where you have to just stare at yourself looking like that. Um, so I've done that before. It will never happen again. So I always do a full face of makeup and then after your hair is done you get like the full effect um i put a ton of primer though like all over my like hairline because you know when they wash your hair they're like of course it's gonna like come down in this area and that's the section where like i don't have any makeup left so i'm hoping the copious amounts of uh primer and like setting powder that i put on will work um i love the way that my makeup came out today i used 
the e.l.f. products that I bought at Target yesterday. I'm not sure if I showed them exactly what I got, um, but I did use like the e.l.f. shadow for my liner and like a new, maybe I did show it. Actually, now that I'm saying this, I feel like I did. It's like a tiny, it's supposed to be a concealer brush, but I used it to put on the shadow and it came out so good. It was like very precise. I love that for doing liner, um, more so than I do my brush that's like meant for actual liner. And then I used the e.l.f. powder and I just feel like everything came out really, really nice and it set really well, so. And I got the e.l.f. lash curler and it works so well, so. Yeah, I'm happy with the stuff I bought yesterday. And yeah, so when I get there, I typically set up my camera and do like a little time-lapse situation. Um, Steph knows the drill by now because this is the third time she's done my hair and I always film and she follows me on like Instagram and stuff. And um, yeah, she knows that I like to get all the content. So I will, um, I'll pull up my camera when I get there. I might film some stuff on my phone or this, depending on how much space I have. Anyway, I'll see you guys over there. Say hi. <laughs> Let me see your one hand. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna link her um, Instagram and info in the description box. If you guys are in the Riverside area, y'all already know my hair looks good. <laughs> and she's the one who does it. I'm like, if I got one thing, it's my hair. <laughs> and she's the only one that is allowed to touch it. And it's a lot of hair. Every six to seven months, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got a time frame. Yeah, we got a time frame, we stick to it. My husband's gonna come by when we're almost done. Okay. He's gonna bring my wallet, and then we're gonna go over to Monty's. <gasps> Yum. I know, I'm so excited. Have you, have you ever been to Fufu's? No, I don't think so. It's in there, right? Yeah, the food lab? it's a, right across from them. I don't know, is the food food like the Mediterranean? Yeah, it's, um, it's not Mediterranean. What, what is, is it? it? I know. It's like, not Persian. It's like. But they have like falafel. Yeah. Like they have a yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Maybe it is just Mediterranean. Yeah. Maybe it just says Mediterranean. I'm not sure. Oh, it's so good. I haven't had Monty's in so long. I get, we get foo-foo's like minimum once a week. I need to go over there. I did see like a falafel wrap that they had or like a plate and look down. It's so but good. But do you, you like that? Like falafel wraps and do you like yeah. hummus and all that? Yeah, I love hummus. Okay, yeah. you have to try um, Georgie's and Canyon Crest Town Center. Okay. It is out of control. So really? Good. Oh my, it's hands down the best Mediterranean food I've ever had. Okay. We just the... opened like this year. Uh huh. It's small and they'll have like, um, they have like wine and they have like an outdoor seating area. It's really small, but it's okay. cute and it's cozy and I think it's family owned. They just make the best food. Like their rice and their falafel is out of this world. Yeah. Best okay. thing I've ever had. That's a big statement. I mean, I'm gonna do it. It is so good. It's, you know what I've noticed? It's hard to find um, like a bagel place, not a donut Canyon shop. Crest. Really? They have a place called, I think, Bagel Time. And oh, it's like okay. homemade fresh bagels every day and they have like a little espresso bar. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like, I found so many good little spots inside yeah. of the town center. It's like, I it's swear really it's nice. come up like in the it last really few has. years. Oh yeah. There's this one place that my sister told me about where they have like a bunch of different olive oils. Yes, it's called Olive & Co. Because I I do a lot of like um, Capri salads and stuff. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, so I just will... Um, that has like mozzarella balls in it, yeah. right? I need mm -hmm. to do like a vegan version of that. They have vegan mozzarella balls. Oh, really? I like I could do a little... Do it! Dish. You're gonna love it. so yummy. So what I do is I do tomatoes, cucumber... Roma, right? Huh? Roma tomatoes? Like the little ones. No, like the little oh, like cherry, bead. yeah. Oh, okay, and I just like cut those in half, and then I do um, cucumber Persian cucumbers or mm, English cucumbers because they're smaller, yes. you know. Yes. Um, and then I do mozzarella balls, and then I do basil and mint. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Yeah, that's like the perfect summer. Yeah, no, salad. it's so good. You see the go viral like green goddess salad? Yeah, have you I tried have. it. I haven't tried it. Oh my god, it's like. 
constantly in our house now. Really? We tried it like a few months ago it's and really it is on the weekly grocery list. list. Oh yeah. So that's a good one. I can actually, I'll text you the rest. Yeah, of just text I it always have it saved. Yeah. You know, oh, you know what it reminds me of right now? What? Um. I hope you're gonna say what I, what I think you're gonna say. Um, it's like one of my favorite movies. Is it like a 90s? Yeah. Yes. Um, where they're like witches. The craft. No. no, not the craft. It's oh, with Nicole Kidman yes. and Sandra Bullock. Yes. And it's Practical Magic. Practical Magic. Yes. yes. That, you know how their hair is both yes, so I long do. and just yes, has the best layering and in that Sandra hair? Sandra Bullock's hair in that movie. And Nicole Kidman's. It's, the layering is perfection. Insane. But also, it's giving me. Um, I think it's like season. I don't know if you're a Friends fan. Um, yeah, yeah. It's when she had the long, yeah, when she had those long wings. That was my episodes favorite. where she was dating Bruce Willis. Yes, yeah. that was my absolute favorite. Her hair when she, when she did had that. extensions. It that's was why. so good, and she had the face framing, long yep. layers, and I just thought she looked. That was yeah. That's my favorite hair she's ever done. Okay, we just got done. Looks so amazing. I'm feeling a little bit of like a Jennifer Aniston vibe. Wow. She killed it. I'll show you guys in the natural light too, but isn't this just gorgeous? The queen. Oh, I thought you were, I thought it was her. I was like, the queen. Oh my God. The queen. Just in my hair. She's like, yeah, I'll take the credit. Okay, y'all, she snapped on the hair. The color is perfection. The cut is even better if that's possible. I love this so much. Oh, there we go. It looks amazing. She did such a great job, as if I'm surprised. She always does a great job. Like I said, her information will be linked below. Um, wow. I love it so much. Like, exactly, exactly what I wanted. More blonde, more layers. It's so good. Oh.